And welcome back. Once again, we are joined by the 1980 championship team, or certainly critical parts of that team, great players, and, of course, Hall of Fame coach Denny Crum. Before we let you guys go, I want to thank you. I hope you guys watch Saturday night and enjoy it. You really brought us a fantastic memory. Kent, you would agree. I mean, this community will never forget. Uh, well, that, there's, there's nothing that can ever replace that first championship and that feeling of winning the championship. And these guys have been living on that high for 40 years. Uh, Coach, when you think about the end of that game, having that monkey off your back, what, what comes to mind? Wow. Uh, <laughs> I guess the thing that came to my mind was was that uh, we had some great individual plays that that transpired just as the game went on. We, I mean, we I think it was Wiley Brown threw a pass. That was intercepted by Kiki Vandaway. And uh, he went down and which was this was typical of Jerry Easy. Jerry was the other guard, so he was out and he took off and sprinted down the floor and ran underneath Kiki when he was getting ready to and he ended up shooting an off-balance layup, and... Yeah, he, he missed everything, Coach. That, and, you know, Kiki Vandaway, one of the greatest scorers in the history of basketball, and Jerry makes a play that uh, helped kind of ignite the final run that we'll see on Saturday night, John. Well, I, I look forward to the game. Gentlemen, again, thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate it. Coach Crum, of course, uh, my friend there, Wally Brown, Jerry Eves, and, of course, instant defense, Roger Berkman. We thank them for joining us. Again, it's brought to you by Hezek and Pohl, uh, attorneys at law. And I want to get a feel for you guys. Where were you at the time? I know I, I got a feeling... Rick, you were celebrating with me. Uh, I think Marty, you were uh, you you were not yet existing. Uh, let's just go ahead and say it. <laughs> but everyone has in my father's eye. <laughs> That's right. But everyone has memories. You hear about you know legends. You you learn about them. Uh, Rick, how about you? Where were you at the time? I was actually uh, in New Orleans. I was down on Bourbon Street the weekend. Uh, and that weekend, it was an incredible. Nice place to be. Uh, I'm from Louisville. And people are asking me personal questions about Daryl Griffith. <laughs> I'm like, you know, I, I know they're the team, but I don't really know all these guys personally. But they figured because I'm from Louisville, Louisville's just a little bitty place up here. But uh, apparently what they did was make Louisville a lot bigger place. They sure did. It was great. Uh, Ken, I'm curious. For you, the timing couldn't be better. I mean, I think there is a thirst for sports right now, and there's a thirst to celebrate. So I hope this was your brainchild. You're the perfect guy to host this thing because well, you're a little million. Well, we showed the game and the 25th anniversary back in 2005. Yeah, and I brought this up in February, and we started the wheels mm -hmm. moving, and, and Ken Salvaggi and Steve Chemanchek, uh here at Wave 3 News kind of made it happen to get the rights because it's not the easiest thing to do for people. But we had the original copy of the game, and the original deal in 2005 was we show it, and then we give it to whoever sells it. They sold the DVD that people have purchased. It's from our copy. So we'll be uh, re-airing that on Saturday night and, and just reliving what is a magical moment in the history of sports here in Louisville. Yeah, and, and Marty Paul, I wanted to ask you, Hezek and Paul, you guys are Louisville. I mean, I like the new commercial with the retro uh, UofL jackets on and everything. So this, this means a lot more to you guys than probably most businesses in Louisville. Would you agree? This is huge. I definitely agree. And I, we're so happy to be a part of this. Uh, we're both born and raised here in Louisville, Kentucky. And even though I wasn't alive when the 1980 game was played, um, I've seen the transformation my city has taken. Uh, and it all stemmed from that 1980 game. I think the University of Louisville owes a huge debt to that 1980 team. Uh, the city as a whole owes a huge debt to that 1980 team. So we're really happy that this is uh, being replayed on the 40th anniversary, and we're so happy to be a part of it. And because of the last answer, you're going to pull back the curtain a lot like that series, right, Kent? We have some behind-the-scenes stuff um, on, on Derek Smith, on Tony Branch and Jerry Eves, and that dynamic as a senior guard who had started, and then Jerry Eves comes in as a sophomore from Louisville Ballard, and uh, so that dynamic will deal with that. And, and also, as we mentioned earlier, one of the coolest things to me is Crawford Jim. And we're going we're gonna to take you into Crawford Gym, which has since been torn down. So we'll do that on Saturday night pre- and post-game show. And Kendrick Haskins will join me as well.
well. All right, again, 7 o'clock for the pregame. Hezek and Paul, we thank both of you very much. I uh, really appreciate yeah. you guys coming on and being pro Louisville. It mm -hmm. happens Saturday night. Be right here with Wave 3 News as we celebrate once again the 40th anniversary of the 1980 championship. Wow. Have a great day. Enjoy yourself. And then join us again tomorrow for the Thursday edition of Wave 3 Listens Live.